Share valuation problem four, calculating the value of a share with non-constant initial growth. Grist Company's shares are expected to pay a dividend of $1.50 next year. Dividends are expected to grow at 20% for three years and then settle down to a constant growth of 2%. If the appropriate discount rate is 10%, what is the value of a share? So again, here we will use a dividend growth model which is P0 equals D1 over R minus G. However, the equation only works once we have constant growth, and that's not going to be the case until we hit the constant growth here of 2%. So first we'll do is calculate the dividends until we attain that constant growth. So we started off with 150 for next year, so that's going to go there. And then we see that it's expected to grow for 20, at 20% for three years. So we start calculating for D2 is 180. D3 will be $2.16. And D4 will be $2.59. Now we've reached the uh, constant rate of 2%. And then we can use the dividend growth model. First, we calculate the, the dividend, so that's $2.64. And in this case, of course, we have D5, so the equation will change the subscripts. So the standard equation is P0 equals D1 over R minus G. But of course, now the equation is going to be P4 equals D5 over R minus G. So now we have all the dividends. We can replace the D5 onwards with one cash flow, which is P4. That's using the equation. So D4, P4 is D5 over R minus G. That will equal 264 divided by 10%, which is our discount rate here, minus 2%, which is the growth rate. So that's 0 0.08, and that will give us a result of 33.05 as P4. Now we can replace all of those future dividends, including D5, with P4. So let's do that. So we have 2.59 plus 33.05, which is D4 plus P4, gives us 35.69. And now we have a simple, straightforward calculation. So we can just add all the p present values of all these cash flows, the four cash flows we have, and then that will give us our value. So we have 150 in year one, over one plus 150 over 1.1. We have 180 over 1.1 square. Then we have 216 and 3569. So continuing on, that gives us our present values. Now all we need to is add them up. That gives us a total of $28.85, and that is the value of the share. Thank you for your attention, and I hope that helped.